This week has seen the Indigenous Voice to Parliament campaign unravel further as the Yes campaign struggles to articulate whether or not the voice will lead to an Indigenous treaty. It was Indigenous Affairs Minister Linda Burney who looked particularly caught in the headlines, sticking to the narrowest of scripts while unconvincingly trying to answer the coalition's questions about whether the Uluru Statement from the Heart will bring about a treaty. Does the Minister for Indigenous Australians support a treaty with financial compensation paid by the Commonwealth? I have been asked again by the member for Farra about the elements of the Uluru Statement from the Heart. And uh, the Australian Government supports the Uluru Statement from the Heart. Our priority is constitutional recognition through a voice. The Prime Minister has issued an invitation to the Leader of the Opposition to come to Gama this weekend. And I now issue an invitation to you, Deputy Leader. Not only uh, am I inviting the Deputy Leader to come to Gama, I'll even make sure there's some bug spray available for you. Funny she mentioned the Gama Festival. It's Australia's largest Indigenous gathering, a four-day celebration that kicked off today. But it seems it's not accessible or, should I say, affordable to many because tickets cost $2,750 for an adult. Joining me now is Liberal MP Garth Hamilton. That's a Gama pass for an adult uh, for the four days. Uh, what do you make of the cost of attending this uh, festival? Both the opposition leader Peter Dutton and Deputy Leader Susan Lay have declined to attend the festival. They were invited by the Prime Minister. Do you think there will be a backlash against that decision? I don't think those invitations were made in good faith, if we're honest, Rita. Um, I don't think they're making good faith at all. They're clearly trying to politicise the festival. Uh, to try and get some sort of advantage in the Prime Minister's attempts to sway a yes vote that he's desperately failing and doing. I don't think there'll be any backlash at all. Uh, I don't think anyone saw this as, as a genuine attempt. Uh, quite frankly, the, the Prime Minister at this point is, is flailing about. He's unable to keep his own house in order. I think it's 29% of Labor voters already saying no. Uh, he, he's, he can see where this is going. The, the campaign hasn't gone well for him and he's struggling. He's trying to pull out any trick he can now uh, to push this back onto Peter Dutton. But quite frankly, I think most people agree with Peter. Most people have their concerns about uh, the yes case. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the Australian people's mm. point of view. It's just a very bad proposition. Well, what's been the reaction to the referendum in your electorate? Oh, right from the word go, I think people have had their suspicions uh, when it was first raised. We had a lot of people asking questions, but starting out with why and what it's trying to achieve, at no way have we, have we had any sort of movement of people from, from a, a no or an undecided to yes. In fact, everyone who's you know, come to see me has expressed their doubts and those doubts have solidified over time. We've recently uh, you know, sort of reached out to people in our electorate and asked specifically uh, do you think you've had enough information and do you have a position at this point? Overwhelmingly, people have, have responded no uh, to both of those questions. I think it was 87% was the last uh, survey result we saw. That's, that's quite a strong response and I appreciate we're in Toowoomba. We're not the same as inner city Sydney or Melbourne. Uh, but we invited mm -hmm. um, Linda Burney, we invited the Prime Minister to come to Toowoomba to talk to us. It took her seven months to respond, and she only did so when I raised uh, the issue with her that she hadn't responded. Uh, we've been overlooked. The Yes campaign has no interest in talking to people in my electorate, and maybe that's why it's doing so poorly. But someone who is coming to visit you is Jacinta Price, a Linda Burney's counterpart, and I hear you've sold out the entire arena, 1,400 tickets. That's uh, quite remarkable. I mean, uh, she's arguably the most popular politician in the country at the moment. She's an absolute rock star and we could have sold out more. That's my only regret about this. If we'd gone to the local basketball stadium, we probably could have hit 2,000, and a half quite easily. We did 1,400 people in four days. Uh, the demand was huge. We barely had to advertise. 
And look, I think she's just she's hit that right mark. It's fantastic. It's the right place. It's the right time for her. Well, because she's authentic, Garth. She is. She is authentic. She knows it. She has lived it, and she is. Uh, she's a force of nature. Garth Hamilton, thank you so much for your time this evening.